Welcome to the Radiation Therapy Department at Cancer Care Manitoba. We have designed this series of short videos to help you prepare for your radiation treatments. We invite you to watch the videos to familiarize yourself with the steps involved for radiation treatments and to introduce you to the team. We encourage you to pause the video or rewatch sections of it if you wish to do so. We also encourage you to invite someone to watch it together with you so that they hear the same information you do and can support you throughout the radiation treatment processes. This first video will introduce you to how radiation therapy treatments work and your radiation treatment team. Radiation is in the world all around us. Radiation therapy is the delivery of specific types of radiation in a controlled, monitored environment using safe methods based on the most current research, knowledge, and practice standards. Radiation therapy is used for treating many types of cancer because it is good at shrinking and destroying the targeted tumor area without causing too much harm to the normal surrounding tissues. It is used to treat a variety of cancers and some non-cancer conditions. Patients may receive radiation treatments only or in combination with surgery, chemotherapy, or other types of treatment. Your oncologist will review your case together with you and provide you with the best treatment options for you. Radiation treatments are designed and customized to be unique for each patient with the main goal being to treat the area of concern with high doses of radiation while minimizing doses to healthy surrounding tissue. This customization results in the best possible treatment outcomes with the least possible side effects. During radiation treatment, the high energy radiation waves pass through the body to reach the cancer cells. Radiation therapy interrupts cell DNA so the cells stop growing or are destroyed. This results in the tumor shrinking. Most normal tissue cells don't die with radiation therapy because they do not divide as quickly and if they are harmed, they are better able to repair themselves than cancer cells. Some patients ask if radiation treatments are painful or if they may become radioactive. Please know that radiation does not hurt sting or burn when it passes through the body and that you will not become radioactive with the treatment. It is also safe for you to be near other people after your treatment sessions. There are two major types of radiation treatments, external radiation and internal radiation. With external radiation treatments, the radiation is delivered to the tumor from outside the body using a specialized radiation treatment machine which targets high energy x-rays at the cancer cells from outside the body. This is the most common radiation therapy treatment for cancer. For skin cancers or lesions near the body surface, a low energy x-ray radiation therapy machine is used to deliver the radiation. Superficial radiation treatment is a type of external radiation therapy treatment that doesn't go any deeper than the skin limiting the side effects to other organs and body tissues. The other type of radiation treatment called internal radiation therapy is also called brachytherapy. With internal radiation therapy, the treatment is given using a device that places a radioactive source near or into a tumor inside the body. Our radiation oncology program has state-of-the-art technology and equipment. We actively pursue radiation treatment advancements while contributing to developments made in this field through clinical trials and research. If you are interested in participating in a clinical trial, please talk to your radiation oncologist to see if there is a clinical trial that is right for you. Most people do not feel any side effects at the beginning of their radiation therapy. However, the side effects of radiation treatments do develop over time, with the most common side effects being fatigue and some skin irritation within the treatment area. Generally, side effects are limited to the area being treated by radiation. For example, your hair will not fall out unless the hair is in the treatment area. In these cases, some hair loss can be expected, but most hair will regrow. Most patients do continue to work and maintain day-to-day -day activities while completing their treatments, but each patient and treatment is different. 
It is important to discuss with your radiation oncologist the side effects that may be experienced both during treatments and the long-term side effects after your treatments are complete. Manitoba has two radiation treatment centres, Winnipeg and Brandon. Your radiation oncologist considers where you live and what type of cancer you are being treated for when deciding at which location you will receive treatments. Radiation treatment plans may require one session or several treatment sessions, which need to be scheduled and completed over a period of weeks. Typically, radiation treatments are scheduled once per day, Monday to Friday. Most treatments are completed in 10 to 15 minutes. However, some complex treatment techniques can take longer. You will receive the date and time for your first treatment session on the day of your CT simulation. You will then be provided with your treatment appointment schedule on a weekly basis. If you have a need to change an appointment, please speak to one of the reception clerks. Thank you for watching this Introduction to Radiation Therapy video. For more information, check out our other videos in the Radiation Therapy Treatment Video Series.